What is up, Midtown family? It's Pastor G. We just got back from our last and final camp of the season, and I got a quick Devo for you. Check this out. One of the things we challenged our volunteers and our students, our campers with, on the last day was in Ecclesiastes 12. Now Solomon the author is writing this, and check this out. It says this in verses one through four. Don't let the excitement of youth cause you to forget your creator. Honor him in your youth before you grow old and say, life is not pleasant anymore. Remember him before the light of the sun, moon, and the stars is dim to your old eyes and rain clouds continually darken the sky. Remember him before your legs, the guards of your house start to tremble, and before your shoulders, the strong men stoop. Remember him before your teeth, your few remaining servants stop grinding, and before your eyes, the woman looking through the window see dimly. Now verse four, check this out. Remember him before the door to life's opportunities is closed and the sound of work fades. Now you rise at the first chirping of the birds, but then all their sounds will grow faint. In other words, it's this. It's a humbling experience and reminder that you and I don't stay this good looking and young forever. In fact, every day is a day us getting older. So you're going, all right, Pastor G, cool. Thanks for the reminder, I'm older. So if you are a veteran in life like myself, and you've been around the world for a while and you have full of life experience, maybe the next season of your life is where you choose a person to invest in so they are reminded of what matters most, reminded of their creator's love, reminded of their purpose. For all the young people, we want them to, to be reminded that what happens at camp doesn't have to stay at camp. Those decisions they made, the experience they had, how, how they met God in a new way, they could carry that out. But remember that life doesn't wait for them, that those opportunities fade. We age, we grow tired, we grow gray, you know what I'm saying? But that doesn't mean life ends. So again, family of God, be reminded of your creator. Take advantage of your time on earth. For as long as you have breath, you have purpose. Now here's a quick three things that I'm gonna challenge you with. So if you're a veteran in life or you're a youngster in life, maybe the number one question you need to ask right now in the mirror is, what does God have next for me? Simple, what does God have next for me? Two, who does God have next to me? So if you're a young person, pursue an older person to invest in your life. And if you're a veteran in life, maybe your next step is to pursue a young person so that you can live out your calling and fulfillment in life by helping them be reminded of who their creator is. And the third thing is this, go to the website and find your place, your people, and your purpose at Midtown Church. Because remember, family is our favorite F word. And a family doesn't let family miss out on being reminded of who they belong to, who loves them, and that they have purpose in this life. God bless you. May you be encouraged and challenged today. Peace out.